Wait! I know it's horrifying, I know it's hideous, but this terrible belt monstrosity is literally going to save our world. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time we finally transcended the space elevator. So that now we can build our base even taller without having to worry about the space elevator getting in our way. And now that we've built our hub 2.0 up here, we can essentially just live and build in the sky forever. Except for today we have to do a little bit of groundwork here. Because now that we're done the beast too, we are done a crazy amount of our turbo motor production. Like this whole setup here, this is like the template for all of the things we had to build. And pretty much all of this, and a little bit of this, is all done. Like we got the motors now, so like all of this is gone. The crystal oscillators as well, they're done. Just like that. And like now you can see, we have made an insane amount of progress. And honestly, I think we are like 60% done towards automating our turbo motors. Like the only big things left are the heat sinks, computers, and then these nasty little radio control units. But then after that, we have all of the ingredients we need to automate all the turbo motors in the world. But um, what should we focus on next? Hmm. Well, I was kind of thinking we'd focus on those heat sinks. So what do they need? Sheets and some wire. And then for these sheets, we need aluminum and copper. And for aluminum, we need silica and bauxite. And then finally, for the silica, we need limestone and quartz. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. Hold up. You guys are probably thinking, Kibitz, you already have the Alclad sheets being produced. We're making 480 of these bad boys per minute. And that's like half the process, right? Well, yes, you are indeed correct. But these Alclad sheets, this 480 per minute of white rectangles, they are my white rectangles. And there's no way I'm letting those motors touch my rectangles. No, sir. Not those. Because just keep this between you and me, but word on the street is that the Mark VI belts are going to use heat sinks and these Alclad sheets together, so I kind of want to save that supply for that. And also, I kind of want to save them for when we start manufacturing the batteries. Because yes, those are still in the game. So that means that for our turbo motor production, we're going to have to go and get more bauxite. And the only place there's more bauxite is in super duper pink tree land and in the corresponding hyper filthy red forest biome, which is pretty much the last place in the entire world where I haven't got my grubby paws digging into. Meaning we're gonna have to set up a ton of new infrastructure. So maybe more trains, ooh. Lucky for us though, Past Kibbs was a boss and he actually has prepared for this. So half this project is pretty much already ready to go. The only thing is this part. But you see, uh, there's a problem with this. These giant pink trees are invincible. So if we wanted to set up a train in this biome, it'd have to duck and weave through the whole thing and it would be an absolute mess. But it is possible, and I've started actually planning a little route here. But you know what, then I had a second thought. Wherein, what if we just used belts throughout this whole area? Not because I prefer belts, trust me, trains a thousand times better. But I'm actually kind of curious, with the new belts and how they de-render now, Maybe the belts cause less lag than trains. So I actually wanted to do a quick test in creative mode to see which causes more lag. So we're off in the creative world here with the Kronos mod on, which allows us to do creative things. And for this test, there's a little FPS counter with the Kronos mod. And what I'm gonna do is just build a billion belts and see how many frames we lose. So is this like hyper scientific or anything? No, but is it a decent test to see generally what's going on? Maybe. But at any rate, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun here, guys. Anyway though, this is all kind of like a small scale test to just see if we can impact the frame rate at all. Like since this entire world is empty, it might be a little difficult. But maybe with the help of a couple thousand power slugs, we might see some results. 
All right, slug army, move out and eat those frames, brothers. Faster, 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 move, move, move. I'm good, they're coming up on the heat sink. The first little mess I made. Hopefully the belts actually connect. I don't know if they really do or not. As you can kind of see, they're a little goofy, but you know, I guess we'll find out very soon. All right, and into the heat sink. Looking good, looking good. Honestly, a little too good though, because we haven't even lost a frame yet. So then up and up the merry-go-round they go. So all of this, still not a single frame lost. So up the tower, down the tower. Still nothing yet. And, uh, yep, now they're just going back to the bins where the loop again. And even looking at everything here, everything, we even went above 60 frames. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, 49. Oh, we got the needle moving, hey, hey, hey. Okay, it's gonna look really bad on YouTube, but... Alright, so I saw it dip down to, like, it's like at 55 here. Good, okay. So you know what, this is actually a good test. We actually got some results here, right? Now we just have to build the train equivalent of this. Which is, you know, just like four trains, two train stops, that's it. Like in regards to uh, transport efficiency, this is pretty much equivalent to all the belts I made in the last little build there. Which by the way, wasn't completely random, because that's about as many belts as I'd need to cover the red forest and get all the bauxite. Whereas if we're just using trains, this is all we really need. Maybe a little bit extra rail, but I don't think the rail really matters too much. It's kind of like the leg equivalent to platforms. Anyway though, let's set up all these trains and see what happens. And so far so good. However, I loaded a ton of items into all of the loading bays and stuff. So I'll give it a moment here. Let things load in, let things start moving and grooving a little bit more. And we'll see what's up. But honestly so far, I'm thinking trains cause a little less leg. Or wait, maybe not. Frames are at like 58? What's going on here? Like, I don't know why it's changing so much, but it really is. And this is hardly anything. And also, it was really difficult to get, like, the FPS to drop with all the slugs going around. This? Uh, this is not. So you know what? I think I've seen enough. Surprisingly, the trains seem to be a little worse on the FPS than belts. Oh, and please keep in note, this is a garbage test. Like, there could be a million other variables that got these results. Maybe it's my computer. Maybe it's because I'm recording. Who knows? Maybe it's the time of day. Literally, who knows? So take these results with a grain of salt. However, before we leave our little loop here, there's something else I want to just try. Like, what if we took this to the absolute extreme? Huh? Oh my gosh, you know what? I am on I'm honestly shocked. I can't believe how bad the trains are. I added on like an extra 10 here. We got a train god going over there. And we legit lost 6 FPS, 7 FPS. And remember, the entire rest of the world has nothing in it. Nothing. Zero. Zada. Zilch. We're at 50 FPS. That is straight up incredible. So hold up, if I just deactivate all the trains in my like let's play world, we're gonna have so many frames. It's like a gold mine. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I have my FPS on. We got about, you know, averaging around 12 or 13. But if we disconnect this one wire, that's gonna be like 80 train cars stopping. And it might even give us like five extra FPS. So it could be insane. And I think we are good to go. So, there we go. I'll cause a billion trains to screech to a halt eventually. And you can already see, immediately, we're going into like the 14 FPS. All right, all right, so what if we disconnect another train for now? Huh? So this one's just going to and from our nuclear fuel plant. It's kind of a smaller one, but you know, every little bit might help. Especially when all of the trains actually stop. A lot of them are just kind of gliding along. And it's looking like the trains are gonna take a little bit to slide to a stop here. So I'll just quickly go and deactivate the other trains we have in the world. And now I guess we just kind of wait. Oh, but we're already dipping into like 15 FPS. Okay, brother, I'm gonna give us a couple minutes and see where we land. Okay, so it's been about a day here and the results are incredible. Amazing, literally amazing. This is the number one way to increase your FPS in the late game. It's just to turn off trains. We are hovering around 18 and 19 FPS. And I've even seen it go up to 20. That is like a 60% increase in frames. 60%!
So yeah, we are going to be adding in more belts. We're not setting up another train. Uh, not until they're more optimized, because th that, that is actually unreal. The game is actually playable. Like, I haven't had this good of SPS in the game since... I, I can't even remember. Like, maybe since, like, episode 30 or something like that. Like, this is night and day difference, man. Night and day. Alright, though. With our experiment done, it's time to gear up and get ready. Because we have our final biome to conquer. And from this biome, we need to extract 2,520 bauxite per minute. And bring it all back to base. I have all the sheets we're ever gonna need prepared. So we are ready to go. So I know there are normal and pure nodes kind of spread out all over the place. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be running to each of them, marking them, and then putting down a Mark III miner in their place. And once we get enough bauxite, we're good to go. And speaking of, I've already found a normal node here, so that is 600 per minute right there? Yeah. So that's uh, number one. Ooh, and I want to scoot down south here, but oh, we got a stinky boy. Oh, and about. Hello, sir. Yo, keep that to yourself, brother. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I haven't fought a spider in so long. So long! Is it just me or they look a little different? Just as slow, though. So I push -a! Okay, okay. Actually, it's still dangerous. Let's just give him the bat da boop Yeah? bat da boop Easily done. But I'm sure there's going to be many, 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 many more. Ooh, but the rewards are so worth it. A bauxite pure node. So thank you very much. Now, now we're going to the danger zone. The red forest. You see pink, the little pink land? It's all hunky dory. It's all very nice. Well then the red forest, brother. Oh lordy. It is full of spice. In fact, I am pretty sure we're gonna die when we go through here, so wish me luck. Oh, ooh, thanks for wishing me luck, guys. We got a purple buddy right off the bat. Gotta take out the guards first. All of the guards first. Woo oh, there we go. And now we got a new buddy for the ranch. Oh, 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 why, why, why? Farty boy. Don't hide in your own farts, it's disgusting. There's no chill. The farting just makes them angrier! And even in the peaceful rivers, the spiders still sneak. At least you can't fart, so... Blap, blap! Blap, 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 blap! Hey, 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 hey! No, I blap you! I blap you! This is how this relationship is. Gross. But oh, there's the next box site note. Oh my goodness, no way! We were here, like, right when this update first came out. Oh my goodness gracious, what episode was that? Like, 36? No, no, no. In the 30s we're here, and we set all this nonsense up. Unbelievable, it's been so long! And yeah, the little horde of guys here, Oh, I remember slaughtering you before. It's so nice to be back. And obviously this is a pure node, right? You better believe it! Well, that's why I set up all the miners. There we go, miner number three, meaning we have two peers and a normal. So 780 times two plus 600 equals 2,160. So we just need like one more normal node. Oh, and even better, it's in this crazy swamp cave area thing. Alrighty though, as long as it's not in pure, we good. What is it, what is it, what is it? Normal, we are good. Just have to take out the three large lads here. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Um, okay. There we go. And now we're good. Look at that. I play Fortnite. And Coolio Beans, I ran out of Termo Motors. So I guess we gotta come back. Oh, uh, that's fine though. I marked off the area, so... Yeah, when we come back, we can bring a ton of concrete. Build ourselves a highway. I guess just going, like, from where? Here? Just straight through there? And then we're good. Okay, well, maybe not all good. You see, this biome's pretty spicy. And you see, a couple things got in the way of my highway plans here. Okay, and maybe like a lot of things. These invincible trees, man, just ruined every plan. I'd find one way in, tree. 
and at the end of the day, the only way I saw like getting a belt highway through here was just going around this pink biome. If I wanted to make it look nice anyway. But that's pretty inefficient considering there's a node like here, there, everywhere. It was a mess. So I've done the unthinkable and I just built the highways on the ground. So like the belts up here look pretty ugly. However, now that we have the bauxite from here, we're never gonna come here again. Like, we're done with it. So, it'll be our dirty little secret. And also, when everything leaves the biome, I organize things very nicely. So you know what? What we'll see is the beautiful face of things. But then the truth will be hidden in the pink. And now that just leaves us with a very nice train station to build. And by little, I only mean like 14 freight cars long or something like that. So no biggie. But oh man guys, are you ready to see a miracle? Literally a miracle? So this train is already being loaded with other bauxite nodes, right? And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight freight cars still free. And guess how many freight cars we need for this project? Yes, you guessed it right. We needed eight. Because we have to split these lines in half to make sure the throughput's okay. But you see, the reason why it's literally a miracle is because since we use the belts up in the forest there, we don't have to bring fuel. Because initially, I was gonna like have like trucks going around up there and all that jazz, but now we have this fueled freight car free. And it just so happens we have to have it for the box site. Isn't that crazy just how things work out, eh? But with that, all we need to do is load in the box site and we're done! So I guess that's gonna be all for today. Hopefully that little train tip really helps you out and saves you frames in your own world. And also that discovery kind of saved our own world here because, oh man oh man, if we got into single digit frames, I don't know what I'd do to be honest. But we're all good now. Anyway, thank you all for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye bye